Hey folks, it's Carrie Oberbrunner. Hope you are doing fantastic today. We have a very special day with a very special guest. Tanisha, how you doing? I'm fine, Carrie. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You know, it's a it's a summer. The yep. pace is cool. I was just putting together a chair for my wife, and the you know, it's one of those chairs where it's like this will be easy, and it takes an hour type of thing. You know? <laughs> well, did, yeah. I didn't know you were handy. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, you know. Not, not quite. Uh, so let's see here. We, uh, we got a great show today. We're going to be talking all about uh, something interesting that you've been heavily involved in. It's called personal AI. What's up with that? Well, Carrie, personal AI allows a thought leader, a creator, an author, entrepreneur to have their people or tribe have access to their thoughts. Has anyone ever asked you, hey, Carrie, can I pick your brain? Oh, yeah. And what do you say? <laughs> well, what, what can you now say? <laughs> well, in the past, you know, I would want to help people. But at the same point, you have no context about these people. If you can help them, what they what they even need. That's and true. So, you know, you want my whole business originally was redeem the day. And so I really am into making my time count. Yes. So now I have the ability because of uh, a great guy named Suman and yes. you. I know you both work together. You basically downloaded a lot of my brain into <laughs> artificial intelligence. Yes, I did. Which might be a scary thing for some people. But um, I would love for people, if they're watching, to share, to, to tag somebody. Because here's what I know. Tanisha's going to demo this with a special guest. And I have no clue what the script is. There is no script. Nope. They might have a script. I don't know. We don't have a script. <laughs> um, but you're going to basically demo this with with one of our thought leaders who yes. who she might someday want a personal artificial intelligence because she's an author. She's a speaker. And I think the more people understand the power of what this can really do, it, the fact that they could truly ignite more souls yes. without you know, wasting time finding the right person. Uh, let's jump in. Who's our guest today? Okay, great. We have a special guest, author, Renee Vidor. Hey. Hey, Renee, how are you doing? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. What do you I think of this it. crazy stuff? Personal, <laughs> artificial intelligence. What do you think about it, first of all, when you when you first hear it, Renee? I say first hearing it, I think like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know because artificial intelligence when it comes to my brain. Yeah. But I'm interested in seeing more because like you said, it could be so freeing to be able to offer more information to people that are looking for it instead of having to sit there and have your brain kind of, you know, decomposing. By people yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. So. Let's show people what this thing is, first of all. I know we have somebody managing the comments, but this is the page. And what are we looking at, Tanisha? Sure. Okay. So, Carrie, we're looking at your carry.personal.ai. And okay. if you was out there, if you look to the left, you can now, you scroll down, Carrie. Scroll all the way right there. That's a good view. You can direct message carry.personal.ai, and you can also in a group, group message carry.personal.ai. And I know, Renee, you're there now in our lounge. If you go to the lounge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so, Renee, what, when you think of carry, what, what's, what are the words that come to mind? Some of the words over the years for carry, I think of, well, right now, a lot of Web3, Metaverse, Blockchain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's pick carries.personal.ai thoughts. So, carry, if you can scroll all the way down. Oh, do you want to have access to Renee's computer? I'm, right now, I'm on my computer. She okay, so share. you know what? So, um, we need I'll to scroll what, down. She can share her screen. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah, sure. it might it might have permissions, and if so, then then we'll figure it out. But while we're chilling, um, I want to talk really quick about Suman and this yes. company because um, I don't know. Do you have his bio around? Because I mean, he started telling me all the stuff he was involved in, 
he was involved in some pretty pretty um pretty huge companies and i think we all would know and recognize but he and his company first of all i met him by chance although i don't believe in chance mm -hmm. he came on the blockchain life podcast i remember that yeah and, yeah and when he shared on the blockchain life podcast i was blown away because immediately i saw the power of what he was talking about from what i understand you trained my ai meaning that what you did is you you basically uploaded a lot of what's called a memory stack yes i did your and, books like uh, most of your books i uploaded your secret name day job and dream job you know unhackable and a few others mm -hmm. and we also uploaded your podcast as well fantastic audio formats and one of the cool things about uh, a personal.ai is that you can go to it to get you know new tweets for twitter you can get ideas for blog posts you can work together to kind of co-create you can kind of put your thoughts every day to create another book so yeah. it's a really cool concept for creators to be able to use that and it's like a digital reflection of yourself fantastic so renee what are you thinking my friend is it giving you issues no i just had to switch some screens around to get it on the same tab let me get you share okay. screen and so what you did tanisha is you basically created a memory stack yes where you put in a ton of my information in books blogs um, all these things so that when people ask a question like for instance stage Somebody might say, um, hey, Carrie, you know, is fame important or something? And I might be like, the bigger stage won't ruin you. It only ruins yes. you. Like, and, you know, honestly, it does sound like you because when I was, um, I guess, training it and um, I would put in words like clarity and things like that. Because one of, one of your uh, great sayings is, you know, clarity attracts, confusion repels. Yeah. So it gave me a great things like that. Okay. Value. Okay. So I see Renee is there. Hey. Yep. Renee's here. And so she's acting as if she's the public person who's checking this out. She's not logged in as me. So she what needs to go to the um, personal AI first, not the lounge or what? No, she's in the lounge. I'm so lounge. she just typed in the word clarity and you can stay there because we can see your screen there. Okay. okay. So we, See, she typed in the word clarity and Carrie, if you can read that out, what did Carrie.personal, oh, Renee, what did Carrie.personal.ai tell you? It says clarity comes before you take a step. No one will buy from you until you know your value and your products or services. Something magical happens when you gain clarity. You become more aware of your strengths and weaknesses. You understand your few gifts with razor sharp intuition. Wow, Renee, what do you think? <laughs> Uh, there's some things there that I know, Carrie, you said over the years, and then there's some new things that just kind of like puts it together in an interesting way. Yeah, yeah. And then what, what's that hyperlink do? And uh, what does that mean? So that would be like other posts or something? What does that mean? Well, we tried that yesterday. It You can click on it, try it, but- um, So it's still learning. Yeah, so, and if you look to the bottom, Let's say you're not sure what to ask. You can click one of those um, right there, hashtags, and it'll take you to some of the carry.personal.ai thoughts. Renee, why don't you try that out? Click, uh, click one of the words that you see. Yeah. I'm going to click boon. That's okay. interesting. <laughs> yeah. And for those of you who don't know what a boon is, a boon is your deepest desire. Yeah. So that would be from the book, specifically Unhackable. Yes. And... Uh, basically um okay so suman's in there and he typed in Hi, Suman, good morning a monetary gifts okay yeah so monetary gifts basically defer the ask that's so, so that's a big principle that i teach is like when people say carrie how did you get all these partnerships together i don't treat them as transactional i def I, I build social currency and then i defer the ask so that's interesting and that's true. And you can also, Renee, try a command, exclamation point mm -hmm. T-O-P. If you type in exclamation point T-O-P. What does that mean? 
Well, it's going to give you some topics. You didn't you didn't put a space between it, did you? There you go. It's going to give you some top tags. So, Renee, why don't you pick a, another top tag? Okay, let's pick another one here. Let's do friend because I like I like friend. This is fun. And you got to keep scrolling. So, if anyone's doing this on your own, just kind of keep scrolling. Yes. They'll think, and you'll think nothing is there, but keep scrolling. There we go. And I see Michelle's. Go ahead. Okay, so it says my friend thought he had become the boss of the Deeper Path Coaching Coalition. He told him the location. The, okay, this doesn't sound like Carrie. That's funny. And you, you know what? That's a good point. And if you notice, there is a number that says 17%. So the accuracy is saying it's kind of low. And that's maybe a thought that we would like kind of revise or just take away. But that happens. So do we get to help on the public side train it? Like, with, is there something that we get to do Could to they? do that? Because I think it's funny when it says, I'm just a mom. It's not true. <laughs> no, so, I'm just so, a mom about who we're all the way through the world. Okay, I don't know. So basically, <laughs> they're going to say that, hey, we didn't like that, right? Yeah, and you know, I see Suman typed in the word content. If Carrie can scroll down. Yeah, so you always scroll down to see what's below. So go ahead, Renee. So when you type in the word content, what comes out? Okay, so I, he, I, I think he did it. No, oh, he did, he did no, but was, maybe it'll be different. Oh, maybe there's a different one. But yeah, he typed it in. Yeah, it is different. So when <laughs> Suman typed it in, it said, focus on content. You need to master creative ideas and business strategy. Focus on content. The right tools and concepts for your business. Your design is on your own way of bringing your content to the next level. When I typed it in, it says, Blogs should include the ability for readers to subscribe in exchange for providing their email address. Ah. And it goes into some different things. Wow. And I see Michelle. Hey, Michelle, thanks for moderating. He typed in the word focus and it says, you know what, Michelle, type in hashtag focus. Let's see if that helps it out better. Sometimes that works. So, Renee, let me ask you a question. You're the author of a wonderful book. If you can tell us the name um, of your book, do you think this could be useful to spread your message? Well, yes, the name of my book is Measuring Up How to Win in a World of Comparison. I always got to have it next year, right? Yes. yes. Carry us on. <laughs> but the thing is, I know I can't be next to everybody. And I even had some people on TikTok asking me some questions. And I was like, I'm not quite sure the best way to direct them. I could see where this could come in handy after having it trained and getting like you said, Tanisha, uploading all the book content and everything into this to where you direct people over there. So it's interesting. I'm very intrigued. Yeah, I was intrigued uh, as well. Um, and it was pretty fun to, you know, interact with Carrie's personal uh, uploading the content. And it was a thrilling process. And I'm very impressed with Suman has an amazing team. Um, they're wonderful. So thank you, Suman, for just working with us to bring in that technology. And if you don't know, Suman is a speaker at a Ignite, Igniting Souls conference this year. So I'm looking forward to his session. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could see, um, you know, I told Suman immediately, I thought, oh, my gosh, what if you uploaded all of Jesus's words? <laughs> yeah. You know, because that'd be because there's a lot of people. I mean, I've done crazy amount of school in um, faith topics. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. talking like, you know bachelor's master's doctorate probably over a hundred thousand dollars worth of cost to learn faith and i could see that if somebody was new to faith and they they said look i don't even know where to look for words that jesus would say if they had a personal ai for jesus i really think that they could find some very cool things um and, you know, even take your biggest influencer that you're like, man, I wish I could just hang out with. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I'm not that I even want to hang out with this dude, but let, let's just name popped in my head. Let's just say Tony Robbins or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> if Tony Robbins had a personal AI, one of his live events could be quite expensive for some people or travel. You know, they might have to travel. They might have to go attend this thing. But if they said, look, I got Tony in my pocket. And when I'm going through coaching struggles, I just pull out personal AI and I type in a few questions. I could see how that could be big. 
You're right. That's a good point. And that's where Web3 is taking us. We, we're getting there and maybe some of us are already there. But, you know, we're in a Web3 world. And I love how the conference addresses that. You know, it's not, it's not the I've been going to the Igniting Souls conference since 2015. And I know Renee's been going for a while, but this conference is going to be different in a good way. Can you tell us more about that, Carrie? Yeah, I mean, uh, Renee, you know, we've done very author centric conferences. Barnes and Noble, 70 authors signing. This year we're shifting and it's not that we're saying we don't care about authors. In fact, I'll tell you what, I think we're shifting because we're saying we care about authors even more. And let me explain that for a moment. Major shifts have happened even with digital marketing. You used to be able to put out Facebook ads. You used to be able to, uh, with a pixel, your ads used to be able to serve people around the internet wherever they surfed so that if they asked a question, you'd kind of follow them. And I, I bought products that way because I'm like, oh, what, are the, what was that product I was searching for? And then I would see it on my browser and I'm like, oh yeah, there it is. That shifted with iOS 14 and 15. They said that because of privacy issues, all these rules changed. And therefore, there's a lot of authors who are going to not make, they're not going to make it. And I know that sounds crazy, but you'd think, well, I'm an author. I just want my content to stand on its own two feet. I want to write a book and I want the world to find me and I want to be, you know, influential and famous and wealthy and rich and all this stuff. I'm just telling you that I don't care if you're Nike. I don't care if you're Eminem. I don't care whoever you are these days. If you're not reinventing yourself with the shift that's happening with the embodied internet, you're going to miss out. And sadly, it's the biggest brand celebrities and influencers right now who are taking major market share because they already see it. I mean, if you look at Kanye West, he is filing massive patents, LeBron James, they all real Disney. They're all like, oh my gosh, the metaverse, we got to get in. It's kind of like if you had a chance to go to New York City back in the 1700s <laughs> and basically you could just take whatever land you want. Now, most people would be like, what? New York, there's nothing there. Why would I go there? Just like today with, with personal AI, people are like, Psh, it didn't answer it perfect. Yeah, here's my point. Do you remember how we used to get on the internet? <laughs> oh, was, yes, that dial-up thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was not efficient. And so, whereas some people are saying, well, I'm going to wait around until Web3 is perfect, then I'm going to jump in. Okay, you will now then be a consumer because everyone else will have already gone in and all the thought leaders, the creators will have gained major market share. And now you're basically saying, how do I even figure this thing out? So the fact that Igniting Souls Conference has said, look, there's major shifts that have happened. And COVID, I really think, was a good thing in some ways. I know that sounds weird. But over history, there's been the evidence that with past pandemics, mm -hmm. that there were inventors who kind of went underground and created some massively beneficial things. And so I think with COVID, you had a lot of people say, we got to rethink the way we're doing things. And now you're starting to see in 22, all the fruits of the labor. I don't know. What do you think, Renee? Yeah, I've seen a lot of what you're sharing. I've seen where people have changed their thinking and it's been for good, a lot of good. And I know it can be used in a way that isn't good by being the kind of people that we are and wanting to shift with the way that things are going in a positive direction. There's a lot of power to that. And I think the power does come from embracing what is out there yep. in a way that is going to be in congruency with your beliefs, your values, your morals. I like that. Yes, well so, so um, you're coming back. Josh is coming back. Super excited. Tanisha uh -huh. will be there. Yeah, but let's just let's just go through really quick some of the speakers. I know we mentioned um, Suman, but 
who are you looking forward to? I'm just going to start scrolling slowly. Just shout out either the person you want to hear or the topic you want to hear. Can you see my if you're asking me, I'm like, I'm seeing everybody here and I'm like, okay, I've heard Dan Sullivan speak and he's amazing. Rachel, one of my mentors and the people that I love to hear all the time. John Lee, amazing person who has content that is going to blow our minds. She's such a great speaker. Mm -hmm. I, I would have to go down through here and I don't know Sonia yet, but her yeah. topic, what was that? Oh, fitness. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. yeah. Basically I'm in. how doctors said to her, you got to do X, Y, Z because of your physical complications. And she basically said, look, our bodies are talking to us at many times throughout the day, but we're not listening to the signs. And as a result, when we get sick, it's our body saying, look, you weren't, you weren't kind to me. And she's going to give us some major tips because if you're a high performer who wants to ignite souls, you have to be aware of sleep, uh, stretching, hydration, fitness. So yeah, she's going to be talking about the internal stuff as well. Jeff Henderson, I don't know if you, you know about him, but he, he is fantastic about marketing. Okay. Of course, our friend. Natalie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, you're starting to see like, whoa, all these people, we don't know them. They're not all tribe people. Mm. There's some major um, cutting edge it, TED Talks, you know, diversity, visionary integrator, combination building in the metaverse yes, one. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous unhackable teams uh pr um your relationship with food audiobooks we really have said that we care even more about authors and therefore we're not going to just have you know hear from this author this author this author this author because that's not bad but i think right now we're in a new land and we need clear maps, right? And if we don't, we're going to waste time and money. Can I share something real quick? Yeah. One thing I really appreciate about the conference is that every year you bring new people and you're exposing us to new people so and ideas so that we're able to go forward and continue to learn. So as an author, speaker, entrepreneur, coach, I mean, I wear all those titles. It allows for me to open up my mind into new topics and ideas as well as honestly if i want to stage and i want to go out there let's face it i get to do that if i want to all the time yep. so as an author i think that it's actually a positive thing to come and not be there holding up a book and you know you get to do that in your own time yeah <laughs> we'll still have some favorites we'll still have you know some photo shoots the conference bookstore but we basically said there's new things too like i don't know if you saw the um going into Dublin, axe throwing food trucks. Like it's going to be an experience. It's yeah. going to be a workshop. Um, it's not going to be sit back and watch. And I'll just be straight up. Like yeah. I think it was uh, $65,000 for that whole stage and all the tech. You know, we're not going to invest the dollars here in a performance. We're basically saying, look, there's there's efficiencies and technologies and um, hacks, uh, not in the traditional hack, but shortcuts that we need. And so you bet we're going to show you those things. Um, we're going to have how to create a course in virtual reality. Virtual reality is is the new cutting edge. Why? Because of retention. Renee, if you could teach your clients something, mm -hmm. but have them learn four times faster, Wow. and more effective about winning in a world of comparison and it's engaging and fun oh yeah absolutely i'm glad you're putting the money toward fun because as entrepreneurs i mean this is something that rachel says all the time she's like one of my main core values is fun <laughs> well if we don't have that i mean yeah. we can go to a conference all day long and be jazzed but we're not going to have those same memories and the same experiences so i'm excited like this is going to be a blast and i've heard a lot of other people say they're excited too oh yeah yeah i think it's going to be fantastic mm -hmm. igniting souls conference.com tickets are still crazy cheap for a three-day conference i mean 
I just had somebody pitch to me a conference that lasts 48 hours and it's $2,700. And you know what? I actually might go because of the value that I see, but I'm like, oh my gosh, ours is three days and, and general tickets. And it includes a bunch of meals. We and also have an add on web three class. That that's I see Michelle. Michelle's posting the link. Um, if you, ha you already have a conference, you can go to that link to add on that pre-con web three workshop on Thursday. And if you haven't bought your ticket yet, there's a way you can just buy both at the same time. But Michelle, thank you for popping in that link. But yeah, you don't want to miss, you want to come and get all the knowledge. Come before the conference starts, come on Thursday and go to that pre-con workshop on Thursday from one o'clock to four, I believe, PM ET. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for saying that about the comments because sure. they've been posting and I forgot to show you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about this topic. Um, but yeah, listen, at the Web3 workshop, you're going to learn how to create a digital wallet. And you might be like, what the heck do I need a digital wallet for? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how you're going to connect to the internet very soon for all websites. It's already happening with a lot of websites. You're, if people have questions, just go to Decentraland. That's mm -hmm. one example. But a lot of websites now, you will connect with your wallet. It doesn't mean that your wallet, oh, now, now you got to spend. What, it, what your digital wallet means is essentially your access, your gallery. It's your portfolio. In your digital wallet, you'll be able to put your books, your diploma. Like this is now in a world where we don't know each other and we're doing more global um, connecting. You need to know right away if this person's a bad actor. You know, Tanisha, right now, confession. Our Facebook page got hacked on Friday, uh, yes, the Carry Over page. I'm talking to cybersecurity. We have a whole process that needs to happen. We now live in a world where trust is down. Mm -hmm. And so blockchain and the metaverse needs all these verifications, even just going on the internet. I mean, you know, Renee, as a, as a woman, I'm much better than me. You know that you get all kinds of creeps reaching out. Mm -hmm trying to like connect and stuff and, and, yeah. and, you know, you don't know who's legit. And so we're now moving into this metaverse web three world where you're going to be able to verify in seconds. If someone really went to school here, if they really achieved that certification, if they're really friends with your actual people and, um, Oh, Simon says, and connect you with digital wallet. Interesting. There you go. So, so, uh, yeah, it's all good. And that web three workshop is for 97 bucks. Totally worth it. Yes. I mean, I don't know if you know this Tanisha, but I pay, I pay people regularly to teach me about blockchain. Hmm. So I have Eric and Lu Lucius and Zach. I just know that it's a skill that I can either lead the way or I can get chewed up, you know? So Renee, thanks for being here. Thanks for um Thank you, Renee. It's good seeing you again. Hold your hold yeah, your thanks for having one more time because I see you as a cutting edge person and I can't wait to see how you leverage metaverse yes. and and mm -hmm. NFTs and all these things that are that are coming soon. So I'll be there at that web three day as well. So oh, I'm looking good. for that digital cool. wallet. Yeah. Thank yes. You so yes. Well, listen, folks, thanks for being here today. Suman, thanks. we're a big fan. Go check out, um, what is it, personal.ai? Personal.ai, yes. Awesome. All right, thanks, Tanisha. We'll see you. You're welcome. Have a good Take day. <laughs>